Hello and welcome again. Today we're taking a look at the new D7 Wilson driver. Hello, Ryan Rastel here again for GolfShake.com and today, as I've said, we're taking a look at Wilson's D7 driver. Just come out on the market. And remember, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. You'll see loads more content on all the latest equipment for 2019. So let's take a look at D7. Now, what, what's it all about? So few technological changes, one being um, really lightweight. This driver is as lightweight as I've ever swung and hit, I think. It's really lightweight shaft. The head is really light too. So all those people out there who are looking for a bit more club head speed, maybe have lost it over the past few years, this is a driver you should really consider. It's got a really lightweight crown where they've used Kevlar in there as well. So it's really sturdy, but really lightweight. That's helped save some of the weight in the head too. It's available in nine, 10 and a half and 12 degrees in the driver. So when um, they're manufactured in the lower loft, the weight is more towards the face. So we get a slightly lower launch and spin. It's kind of mid position in the 10 and a half head. And when we get to the higher loft, it's right at the back there. So it helps to launch high and also maintain the spin. Okay, so we tried this today here in the Performance Center and must say really impressed. It's not a model of driver normally I, I would go for. We've tried it with a really lightweight shaft in, which generally doesn't really suit the way I swing the golf club. But when we're looking at the numbers on the track, man, we're getting some decent launch and spins and also good distance as well. I would like to try this with a bit of a heavier, stiffer shaft in. I think I would get some really, really good results. And certainly looking at the ball speeds that we were seeing, they're more than comparable to anything that we've, we've tested so far. I was getting a bit more club head speed because of the lightweight shaft. So that, that's one of the things that this driver is designed for. So if you're someone out there who's really struggling to get some speed, this could be the answer to all your problems. So the other really great thing about this is the price. Now, we've seen all the drivers out there this year, they're getting towards the 450, 500 pound mark. D7 comes in at about 250 pounds. So um, slightly less adjustable than some, but performance wise, when we're looking at it on the track, man, is there that much of a difference? Well, not that I've seen anyway, but I would always recommend everyone go and get custom fitted properly. Make sure that you're getting the right shaft and loft combination for you and really get it dialed in so that you're hitting uh, the distances that you'd expect and, and also really maximize the distance that you can get out of the driver. So there we have it. That's the Wilson D7 driver. If you like the video, give us a big thumbs up. If you are someone who's going to try this, let us know. Let us know what you think if you've already hit it as well, because um, we all love to get the feedback. If you want any info on custom fitting or any more information on clubs in general, please leave us a comment below and we'll see you very, very soon.